okay so in third one voltage gain voltage gain is output voltage by input voltage and output voltage you know i measure it across rc see this potential is plus minus but ic is flowing here in my plus minus in the opposite sense so see here v not equal to minus i not into rc and i not the same as ic so ic is hfe ib so minus hfe ib into rc i can write ib as vi by zb from the input impedance expression i can write so minus hfe into vi by zb into rc this is my output voltage expression okay we are writing the output voltage expression from the output voltage ohms law v not equal to minus i not into rc this minus sign is because you see in the diagram the sign is changing and i not the same as ic you know ic equal to hfe into ib and ib is from the input side i can write ib is the input voltage by zb so vi by zb so from uh, av is you know, av you know it is output voltage uh, voltage gain is output voltage by input voltage output voltage is expression input voltage is vi so you can see vi is getting cancelled so the output voltage av is equal to minus hfe into rc divided by zb this is the actual expression for voltage gain the voltage gain is minus hfe into rc by zb this minus sign indicates you have 180 degree phase shift between input and output of your common emitter amplifier configuration and zb value we have approximately got zb is approximately hfe into re so if you substitute hfe will get cancelled if you substitute the value of zb here in the av expression you can find hfe is getting cancelled so hfe will get cancelled so av is equal to minus rc by re so this was the same thing we got for the previous case also the voltage gain is minus rc by re it depends on the external resistance rc and re and re value will determine the voltage gain if re value is going to be larger and larger the voltage gain is also going to be larger okay so this is the expression for voltage gain and current gain current gain is out my output current by input current the output current is i not by ii and you put minus sign because usually current is assumed to flow outside your circuit but current here is flowing towards the circuit so i put a minus sign and i not you know it is hfe into ib so i can write i not equal to hfe into ib and uh, see the total current is ii and i need only ib so you can apply uh, current division technique here so i want ib so ib equal to total current into opposite resistance by opposite resistance plus that resistance okay uh, one resistance through which the current is flowing is rb other resistance is the combination input impedance of the amplifier zb so i can write ib equal to total current into opposite resistance divided by opposite resistance plus that resistance so i can write ib equal to ii into rb by rb plus zb substitute this ib here so i not equal to hfe into ii into this thing and i not by ii you know minus i not by ii is current gain ai so it is minus hfe into rb by rb plus zb so this is the expression for current gain so here in current gain remember we are applying current division technique because the total current is ii i want to find only ib so to, to uh, if you want to find only ib use the formula ib equal to total current into opposite resistance the opposite resistance is rb divided by opposite resistance rb plus that resistance zb okay so that is what if you apply you can get the formula for current gain the current gain is minus hfe into rb by rb plus zb okay again minus sign indicates 180 degree phase shift so this is what we have for the unbypassed emitter resistor common emitter amplifier having unbypassed emitter resistor so any doubts we have we don't have problem to solve in this uh, biasing circuit so once uh, if you don't have any doubts then we can move on to the next biasing circuit any anybody is having doubt here please let me know
are things clear any doubt anybody is having okay i'll go to the next topic